Hello and welcome in Teach Max videos. Let us move to the design of two-way slab. So already we designed two-way slab, which is simply supported at the ends, but it is restrained, right? So restrained, simply supported at the ends. So where we use ninth condition, ninth case from table number 26 of IS to find out bending moment coefficients. Okay, before that already we discuss that exactly how to analyze and design these two-way slabs, right? So, in theory lecture, I have explained that there are two types of slabs, two-way slabs we can design based on the end condition. If the slab panel is directly simply supported at the ends uh, by providing beams, yes, so and there is no any adjacent slab to it. So, all the edges are discontinuous and it is simply supported, but if there is not the movements are not restrained at the ends so we say it is so for that we can refer table number 27 of is to find out bending moment coefficients right and the second case of that one example we saw in previous lecture that the restrained slab two-way restrained slab so if the edges are restrained at the ends so we need to provide torsional reinforcement at the ends, right? So restrained slabs, negative movements are occur at the ends, okay? And it carry by, uh, yes, uh, by providing reinforcement at the top, okay? So there are nine cases almost. So out of which we solve one example in which ninth case occur. What is the ninth case? All edges are discontinuous, okay? But the edge is restrained. Okay, there is no any continuous slab uh, adjacent uh, to that panel. Okay, so that condition we consider in previous case, in previous example. Now, we are going to solve one more example. See, we are, you are going to learn one more example where, uh, yes, definitely I am going to consider a different case from first eight, which are available in table number 26. So, practically any one case might be occur. Okay, so based on that we can easily design so remember there are two two ways to design two way slab see read the question carefully whether it is simply supported where edges are restrained or not so if edges are not restrained go with directly table number 27 finish and if edges are restrained then you have to refer table number 26 that's it so see out of that 26 which case is given whether all edges are simply supported directly you can go with a ninth case where uh, edges are simply supported but there is no any continuous lab means all four edges are discontinuous so you can go with ninth case but for first eight so already uh, i have covered how the first eight cases are occur one edge is uh, one longer edge is discontinuous one shorter edge is discontinuous two longer edge two shorter edge discontinuous so like this way there are the cases so almost eight cases are occur so let us see let us solve one more example so that you will understand how to find out maximum negative movement uh, negative movement at the end positive movement at the mid span of along longer span along shorter span for which how to provide the reinforcement right how to design torsional reinforcement so this part we will discuss in this example so that if you go with these two example it is more than enough to understand two way slab okay so let us concentrate on this example so here example is given okay so this is the plan generally the floor plan is given to you from which you can easily uh, <coughs> understand so it is asked to design s1 panel okay so design slab panel s1 by using limit state method of design okay so where it is this is the s1 plan uh, s1 panel of this floor system okay so <coughs> if you observe here dimensions are given 3150 3150 okay so dimensions are same the both longer and shorter dimension is same okay so <coughs> that we have to identify first and second which type of slab is given whether it is one way slab or two way slab based on that we will design also we need to see the ages whether it is discontinuous or continuous so if you observe in this side age is not mean slab is not continuous okay so longer or short see here parallel the sizes of uh, 
ages, length of ages are equal in this case. So you, anyone you can say shorter or anyone you can say longer. Okay. So both ages are equal in this case. Okay. So let us assume longer age is discontinuous. Okay. Longer age is discontinuous. Okay. It means all three ages are continuous only because see there is slab provided on this side, on this side, on this side, but there is no any slab towards this side. So we can say three ages are continuous, but one age is discontinuous. Now you have to assume whether long.